Uh, so please introduce yourself and tell, tell us how you feel about being at Worlds. Okay, cool. Hi, my name is Avali May. I am an interviewer for the Riot broadcast, and this is my first Worlds uh, that I get to be a part of, and it's such a mind-blowing experience. I'm super excited to be here. There's so many different teams and players, and I mean all the new planes teams, and I'm just super excited to talk to, so I feel like I'm a little fangirl just in this amazing amazing event. Could you tell us how did you become an interviewer in esports? Oh gosh, this is a really big answer because I mean, a year ago, I didn't even really know what I was going to do. Uh, I just graduated from college in May of this year. Um, and at first, I thought I was going to do stuff like behind the scenes. I thought I was going to do something like technical directing or in the production realm. But um, whew, where do I start? I, I think I really started my first professional interview job uh, with Travis Gafford at Yahoo Esports. Uh, he saw some of my past content and decided like, oh, she's not terrible, we can, we can use her. Uh, so I started doing LCS interviews for him uh, and then Riot saw me and I guess they liked me so they decided to pick me up and use me for some of that. And uh, I mean, it's been like a roller coaster since then. Who is the player in NALCS that you remember the most interviewing? And among the current players who play in NA, who has the best English skills? I love Someday. Someday is so cute. And whenever uh, I tried to interview him, or I think the first few times that I tried to interview him, um, the golden rule of being an interviewer is hold on to the mic. So no matter what the player tries to do, you have to keep it you know, in your hand. But Someday was so cute with the microphone where I was holding it, and he just lightly places his hands over it, like lightly grasping it, and I'm I almost died. It was it was the greatest thing. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm really proud of how hard the Korean imports are really working on their English skills. I know uh, someday Flame Ole uh, Ryu. Um, there's there's actually just tons more that are all taking English lessons and trying their hardest to kind of learn and adapt into the NA player base. Um, so I'm always excited to do English interviews with them so they can show off all their hard work. This is your first time here, and mm -hmm. especially in the low park. Could you compare it? How do you find it compared to the NALCS studio? Oh my gosh, so the NALCS studio is exactly that, it's it's a studio. You go in, uh, you sit down, you watch the games. We have a little merch store and then like a little concession stand, but this this is almost like a theme park to me. There's there's the entire Bilgewater Cafe set up where you can, I, I don't know if you can purchase food there, but if you can, that's definitely something that I would want to do. Um, there's the PC bong that's right across the street, or not even across the street, it's like across the way. Um, the studio inside is like an arena almost. I think it seats like 400 people and there are just people packed into the seats. So, I mean, I don't, I don't even think you can compare the two. I think that Lil Park is just amazing and I really wish or hope that we can get something like that soon in NA. What is the, the Korean dish that you remember the most? Korean dish? Ooh! Ooh, see? I feel like I'm a filthy American because I just really like the Korean barbecue, like the standard pork belly and stuff, but... Uh, Emily Rand took me to this, I think it's like a stew place downstairs. I have no idea what it's called, but it was... It was like this big pot of spicy stew, and then they put spam in it, and uh, slices of cheese and noodles. That was so good. <laughs> that was so good. And the other question was, um, uh, what kind of interview do you want to be in during these words? What kind of interview do I want to be or dream of? Interviewer, yeah, you want to be. Oh my gosh. Um, Pokemon, I want to be the best interviewer there ever was. No, I, I mean, I, I mean, I really enjoy doing interviews on broadcast. Um, if I, in terms of maybe upping my interview game, uh, I think I'd like to try to do longer form interviews, uh, maybe sit down interviews with players that could be more of the history of them, the history of the team, or maybe I'd like to try to do something fun. So maybe, maybe I grab some day, maybe I tr grab some of the uh, Korean players who have been really practicing their English skills and maybe rather than an interview, I'd try to do some sort of a fun game, fun language game with them. So the future is open to possibilities.